Good morning, Chapter 9, Lesson 4 is Inequalities and Absolute Values. Before we start Chapter 9, Lesson 4, let's just review a little bit about conjunctions and disjunctions. Remember, the conjunction is like uh, the stuff in the middle. We had that graph. Let me draw it again really quickly here. Everything that's in the middle. So that would be the conjunction. And then the disjunction would be everything on the outside. Remember, the disjunction is sort of like outside, and the conjunction is everything inside the middle. So when we have this less than uh, something, we're going to be talking about a conjunction. If we have this greater than symbol in this uh, inequality absolute value, then we know we're going to be drawing a picture for a disjunction. So let's get started with number uh, 27. It says the absolute value of 5x is less than 20. Well, that's going to break out into two equations. 5x is equal to 20. And 5x is equal to negative 20. Kind of a no-brainer problem. We would have x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 4. Okay. So remember, too, when we were talking about um, inequalities, open circle, greater than or less than, solid circle, closed circle, we're talking about greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. This is one of these greater than problems, so we're going to be doing open circles. Let's put an open circle here, an open circle here. I believe this is 4. This turns out to be negative 4. So we're going to be talking about a disjunction, everything on the outside, so we know what to do, because it's greater than symbol. That was that formula we had in our textbook. So we're going to be going everything on the outside to negative infinity. And then we're going to be going everything on the outside to positive infinity. So that would be our graph. Number 27 said make a graph of this inequality. The absolute value of 5x is greater than 20. Um, chapter 9, Lesson 4, uh, number 45 says the absolute value of 13 fourths plus 2t is equal to 1 fourth. And I think, let me check, 45, it says go ahead and solve this. So we're going to end up with two equations. This is an equality, not an inequality. So this is like we did in the past. We'll end up with two equations. The first one is 13 over 4 plus 2t is equal to a fourth. And then the second one is 13 over 4 plus 2t turns out to be negative one-fourth. So we just attack this as normal. We're going to put 2t plus 13 over 4 minus 13 over 4 is equal to a fourth. Take away 13 fourths, subtracting 13 fourths from both sides. So this looks like 2t is equal to negative 12 over 4, which I think is uh, negative 3. So if we do this correctly, uh, we'll have 2t is equal to negative 3, or t is equal to negative 3 over 2. So there's one solution. Let's work on this one. We're going to do exactly the same thing. 2t is equal to, not in quite as gory detail, we'll subtract 13 fourths from both sides. So 2t will be equal to negative 14 fourths. Um, and if we divide that by 2, uh, t turns out to be negative 14 over 8. And if we can reduce that, we end up with, I believe, it's um, negative 7 over 4. So for number 45, we have two solutions. Those values would be negative 3 halves and negative 7 over 4. Again, we have two solutions. Let's just make sure it's a little bit clearer. Um, we have negative 3 halves and negative 7 over 4. So there's our solutions for those two problems. First one was a graph. Second one was, just like we did in the past, two values. One is a positive value, and then one is a negative value, and we're solving for t. That's it for today. Thanks so much.